Labbaik ya Hussein. Our next speaker, Brother Zafar Bangash, he's the director of, of the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought and on the editorial board of Crescent International, a voice of Haq in the mainstream media. He was among the founding members with Dr. Kaleem Siddiqui, Rahmatullah for the Muslim Institute in London. He is the author of several books, his latest being Power Manifestation of the Sira, examining the letters and treaties of the Messenger of Allah. Without any further ado, I would like to invite our scholar of Haq, Brother Zafar Bangash. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu was salamu ala Sayyidina wa Habibina wa Khatimul Anbiya'i wal Mursaleen. Wa ala Alihi wa Ahli Bayti Hittayyibin at Tawahirin. Wa Ashabil Muntajabin. Huma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْسٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُسِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ صدق الله العظيم My respected brothers, sisters and children in Islam We are gathered here for Arba'in March and to commemorate the great sacrifice that Imam Hussein salam and his family made in the plains of Karbala. While we mourn the loss of Imam Hussein salam. We need to keep in mind that Shahada, martyrdom, confers eternal life on those that achieve martyrdom. So while Imam Hussein salam may have left this physical world and we may not see him, but Allah says, Allah tells us as he did in this these few ayats from Surah Al-Baqarah, when Allah says, "Wala taqulu liman yuqtalu fi sabiilillahi amwat, bal ahiyaun wala killa tashurun," that those that give their lives in the way of Allah are not dead; they are alive. It is only that you do not perceive. So, my brothers and sisters. We need to keep in mind that Imam Hussein salam is not dead. Allah says that in the Khunob al-Quran. And while we gather here, what I would like to share with you is that we love Imam Hussein salam. He should live in our hearts. But at the same time, we should ask ourselves, what was it for which Imam Hussein salam was prepared to sacrifice his own life and that of his family? That is the essence of his life's struggle. He sacrificed his life in order to uphold truth and justice. Regrettably, today the world is full of injustice. 
Regrettably, today, the world is full of Yazids. But we, what we need to do is to become the Husseins of today. To stand up for truth and justice. That we not only shed tears for Imam Hussein alayhi salam, but imbibe the spirit of sacrifice. Just as our brothers and sisters are doing in Iraq, in Iran, in Syria, in Yemen, in so many other places in the world where tyrants are hell-bent on shedding the blood of innocent people. My brothers and sisters, the best tribute that we can pay to Imam Hussein alayhi salam is that we walk in his footsteps, that we stand up for truth and justice, that we do not fear the odds that we face in the world. We will face enormous odds. Haq has always been in a minority in the world. But that does not mean that we give up. And if we remain steadfast, if we claim that we follow Imam Hussein alayhi salam, then we have to be sincere in our efforts. And it is this that is called upon us. It is this that is expected of us when we remember the life struggle of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. We must make sure that we do not become like the people, the majority of the people at the time who abandoned Imam Hussein alayhi salam, even though they knew that he was on the right and he was on the just path, even though they were aware that he is from the Ahlul Bayt, that he is loved by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And yet, unfortunately, many people, the majority of the people abandoned him. So what we have to learn from the sacrifice of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is that we don't abandon him today. And that means that we walk on the path that he walked, that we show the courage that he showed, that we are prepared to make every kind of sacrifice that he was prepared to make. Precious as his life was, precious as the life of his family was, he was prepared to make that ultimate sacrifice. So I ask each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters, you make a pledge today that you will pledge to make your sacrifice if you want to be true to the spirit of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Let us pledge that we will walk on his path, that we will walk in his footsteps, that we will walk side by side with him for the sake of truth and justice. May Allah give us the courage and the perseverance and the spirit of sacrifice to be able to make that sacrifice for the sake of haq and truth and to stand up against batir. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.